friends i welcome you all in my youtube channel angels talk show in the series of online classes of computer fundamental subject today's video will cover classification of computer or types of computer before to start this topic i would like to request you if you are new at our channel please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for notification of new videos so let's start our video classification of computers computer can be classified into three main types first one is analog computer second one digital computer third one is hybrid computer this is the combination of analog and digital computer now description of all these three computers so we will take one by one all these three computers first one is analog computer an analog computer is a type of computer that uses the continuously changeable aspects of physical phenomena such as electrical mechanical or hydraulic quantities to model the problem being solved this computer measures physical quantities as temperature voltage pressure and electric current analog computers are widely used in scientific and industrial applications analog computers can have a very wide range of complexity the example of analog computers are speedometer and thermometer this is the diagram of analog computer next one is digital computer digital computers can perform arithmetic and logical operations when given to them in a type of binary number system they are high speed programmable machines or computers which can process any mathematical calculations and can store the data or information when any instruction or direction given to them they convert that instruction or data into machine readable form that is zero or one this is called as binary number system the example of digital computer are desktop computer or we can say personal computer and the third one is laptop this is the diagram of digital computer next one is hybrid computer these computers possesses both the qualities and features of analog and digital computers they can measure physical quantities as well as counting the data they are generally used in scientific and in medical use for example there are some machines which can calculate the heartbeat and temperature of human body and can convert them into the numbers that is why we say that hybrid computers are the combination of analog and digital computer examples are hybrid computers used in hospitals to measure the heartbeat of the patient devices used in the petrol pump are the example of hybrid computer and in scientific applications or in controlling industrial processes we used hybrid computers now classification of digital computer the digital computer can be classified into four different types number 1 super computer mini computer micro computer and mainframe computer in the diagram we can clearly see that computer can be de defined into three main categories analog digital and hybrid further digital computer is divided into super computer mainframe computer mini computer and micro computer now in the next slides we will cover all these four computers means super computer main computer mini computer and micro computer let's start one by one the first one is super computer they are very fast computer and can perform millions of instruction per seconds their speed is calculated in flops means floating point operations they can perform over 1.2 billion instructions per second and can store huge amount of data they are immense in size 
and are most powerful than any other computer and are used in complex scientific application such as nuclear energy, genetic engineering, automatic energy, weather forecasting, defense, space exploration and so on. They are also used in counting the measurement of earthquake. They are more costlier when compared with others. The example of supercomputer are Param and Tenet Second. This is the diagram where we can see supercomputers. Next one is mini computers. They are commonly known as mid-range computers. They were developed in 1960s using transistors and core memory technology and are smaller, cheaper and has an enormous data or information storage capacity. Mini computers are used in production industry where they are defined a task or assignment to monitor the production process. Mini computers can be used or utilized as a host in a system networking condition with hundreds of terminals. They have a difficult operating system can perform different tasks simultaneously. They are digital computers which can perform with high speed and are used in independent ventures and also in scientific use. This is the diagram of mini computer. In the next slide, we are discussing microcomputers. These are the most common and well known types of computers. Mini computers uses microprocessor which is also known as CPU which is a silicon chip where hundreds of components are fit such as transistors, capacitors and registers. They possesses input, output, storage, control unit for better functionality of computers. Microcomputers are also called as personal computers. They are truly modest, really cheap, high performing with a decent storage unit. They are famous due to its efficiency and low in cost. They can be treated as a workstation where several other PC can connect to them in a computer networking environment. This is the diagram of microcomputer. The examples of microcomputer are desktop computers, laptops, notebooks, mobile devices, handheld computers or we can say PDA, personal digital assistant. Now the next slide containing mainframe computers. Mainframe are computers used primarily by large organizations for critical applications, bulk data processing such as sensors, industry, consumer statistics, enterprise resource planning and transaction processes. They are large and have more processing power than mini computers, servers, workstations and personal computers. Mainframe computers are often used as servers. In the diagram, we are seeing that there are so many mainframe computers are installed in an organization. These, are, these have very huge capacity of storing power and processing speed is very fast in mainframe computers. Friends, in this video, we have discussed classification of computer and also have seen types of digital computer where supercomputer, mini computer, microcomputer and mainframe computers have been discussed with their proper figures and diagram. I hope you have learned lots of things about classification of computer. Friends, next class will be on the topic of computer programming languages. I hope you are enjoying this video. So stay connected with us. Thank you for watching our video only on Angel's Talk Show and educational and motivational videos. Thank you so much. Stay healthy. Stay blessed.